Hi. You're back. You, uh, holding on to all of this stuff for any particular reason? Well, I was gonna file it, but I thought maybe you should look at it first. So where's Rosemary? Stairs sleeping. It's a long haul from Vancouver. So how is it? Wet. It's like living underwater. Well, it's supposed to be beautiful. The mountains block the view. I'm a prairie boy. You want a coffee? Oh, hi. Welcome back. Thanks. I couldn't sleep. My head was spinning. Dizzy? No. No, I was just thinking. Does she know why we went to Vancouver? Well, I didn't tell her. Doesn't mean she doesn't know. I, I don't think we should tell anyone. Why? Because it's nobody else's business but ours. Okay. What's up, Charlie Brown? Yeah, why aren't you in school, Charlie Brown? It's Charlie Muskrat. Give me some more. Two bucks. I don't have two bucks. You gotta support your own habits, Charlie Brown. Got any drugs? Everyone says you got drugs. Let go of me! Where are you taking me? Put me down! Second budget review in six months. I don't know what the hell they want. Well, a bunch of cockroaches just trying to save their jobs. Tea and honey. Hmm. You were tossing and turning all night last night. Oh. That me or you? He's been doing that all morning. I'll talk to Leon. Better save this. Oh. One of your clients, an electrician? It's cheaper. Sarah? She doesn't work here. Susie? One for the uh, corporal? Not unless it's Colombian or Costa Rican. Huh. Keep this brat out of my hair. Boy wanted to buy some drugs, Constable. I did not. Let me go. Why aren't you in school? I don't live here. I don't have to. I got news for you, Charlie. Right now, you do live here. And in this town, nine-year-old boys go to school. Says who? Says me, Charlie. It's the law. It's either school or social services. Let's go. on the plane with the Mountie. Well, you look good. <laughs> Better than last time, eh? We going home? Tomorrow. He's been staying with you? Uh, no, Andrew. Andrew works at the treatment center. He locked me in the bathroom and he wouldn't feed me. That's not true. <laughs> A few fights about school. Now I don't have to go. Yes, you do. If you're leaving tomorrow. No, no, no. Just gotta go to school. Come on. Charlie? <laughs> it's over there. I wonder where she's staying. I don't know. You should have called. I didn't want to scare you. You getting a house? It's a boarding house. 
Do I get my own room? <laughs> we'll figure something out. But it's just the two of us, right? Right. <laughs> mm. uh, we're just going in. Where are you staying tonight? I was going to look for Sarah. She's staying with Michelle. You can, too, if you want. Just so you know. Hey! <laughs> wow, look who it is, Elizabeth. It's my friend, Susie. Look at you! <laughs> oh. oh! Are you staying for a while? We're leaving tomorrow. Oh, well, in that case, come on, we don't have much time. He's got to go to school. Oh. Why? Because I said so. But we'll come back later. Kids never want to go to school. Sorry. For what? The well, last time I was here, I got drunk and smashed a bottle over your head. I never apologized. That person, she's still in here. I've just got control of her. You he helped, you know, a lot. Well, I was uh, pretty messed up myself. Most people. They look at you and see you drunk. They get all disgusted or full of pity. You looked at me like I was a person. That's how I want everyone to look at me. They will. Especially Charlie. And he will. Thanks for sending me the rat route. So does this mean you're going to have a baby? The odds aren't very good, 15 to 30 percent. So does Brian want the baby? I think he's scared. Of what? Being disappointed, being hurt. How can you be scared of a baby? <sighs> when will you know? Soon. What? What? Do you think I'm pregnant? Does she sleep through the night? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Charlie was pretty good. Did everything early, too. Walking, talking. He was real special. <laughs> Guess we gotta get used to each other again. Oh, he's crazy about you. You just need a little time. I got a job. And this nice little room in Yellowknife. And I talked to the school. I'm gonna get him into hockey. Loves hockey. She didn't say boo on the plane. You remember her? Lost two kids in a fire. So they are going home, eh? Now that she's healed. That's right. Good. Always nice to hear. Oh, I'm good with heart attacks. Hey, Corporal Smile. You glad to be back? She's bigger. Well, that happens. There's a fire! Treatment center! Rosie, call Michelle. I'll get the boys going.
Looks like it was electrical. Good news is there's not too much damage. More of a repair job than reconstruction. Good job. Coffee's on us. What about the clients? The motel. You may as well go home. There's nothing you can do here. I'll take care of the clients. Go on. All right, folks. That's it. Show's over. Time to go home. Stop lying. Not lying. You tell me the truth. I didn't do nothing. Where were you? School. Why are you yelling at me? I never started a fire. Susie, I went by in the afternoon. He was at school all day long. It was the wiring. No one's fault. He's a good kid. You bet. I never stirred a fire. Charlie, I'm sorry. You heard Brian. A couple of coats of paint and we'll be back in business. We don't have any money. Oh. Get the clients to do the painting. Work it into the program. The insurance will cover it. You're all right. That's what counts. Helen? I've got to get my files. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Fill them out and hand them back. We don't have enough rooms. We'll double up. What about your room? I'm not moving. You could share. I'm not. Jerry, it's 120 bucks a night. You can sleep on our couch. Speaking of which, who's paying? Insurance. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That can take months. We don't have cash. Then you can wait for the insurance. Do us a favor, Jerry. Let them check in and we'll sort it out in the morning, OK? We we'll get going with this insurance first thing, right? Beat, beat. I'll see you later. Susie's staying with you. Charlie's stuff is still at my place. You should open a coffee bar when you retire. <laughs> I'd drink the profits. Everybody's okay. Thank God. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Elsie thinks I'm pregnant. What was it, tea leaves or animal entrails? She's old, Brian. She knows what she knows. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. I think I am, too. Rosemary. It's a very simple way to find out. <laughs> it's a little too soon. I'm not afraid. I feel close to you again. That's why I'm not afraid. Charlie. Charlie, is this yours? Do you want to bring it? Everyone's trying to be nice to us. Why are you always making me look bad? OK, I got kids. Toothbrush, kids toothpaste, and kid shampoo. I'm not a kid. You're right. You sound like a grumpy adult. I think that's it. Except for Oscar the Grouch. Come on. I'm not leaving. Michelle has ice cream. I hate Michelle. Charlie.
you going to Michelle's? If we could get Oscar the Grouch to get his button gear. I've seen that look before. Come on, sport. I said I was sorry. How come you're getting mad at everybody else? If you're mad at me, you get mad at me. Please, Charlie. Okay, here's the drill. You guys stay here, I'll stay with Michelle. That way Charlie doesn't have to leave. You can stay too, the couch folds out. I remember. Sorry. No problem. Good night, Charlie. You're a pain in the ass, you know that? So are you. Hi. They're both in my house with Sarah. At least that's the way I left it. Are the clients still at the motel? Yeah, and Jerry's at Rosie's. Where's Leon? With Rosie, I hope. Susie accused Charlie of setting the fire. I heard her. The kid was furious. Susie lost two kids in a fire, you know? Come on, Rochelle, you're leaving out the best part. She started the fire because she was drunk. She did three years for criminal negligence. I read the file. They've done nothing but fight since she got here. I don't think she's ready. For what? For Charlie. She's not one of your clients, and neither is he. But I'm about to release that boy into her custody. She's been drunk her whole life. Why do you think she got sober? But what does she do now? When he starts acting up, he won't go to school, and she has to deal with it. She'll deal with it. One day at a time. Michelle. She's earned this, Andrew. Don't take it away from her. Yes, please. So was Albert here when Elizabeth was born? Nope. How come he left? You have a fight? I guess. It's hard to tell with old Albert. You know, I take a swing at him and poof, he's not there and you end up punching yourself. <laughs> you miss him? Sometimes. So how about you? Do you have anybody? <laughs> I got bad luck with guys. <laughs> Always ripping me off, running out at me. Be nice, though, once in a while. Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who's this Andrew? Ah, uh, taken. Michelle. Mm. Cute, though. He's got nice eyes. Mm -hmm. Like he's really listening to you. Nice and slim. Don't like it when they get too fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shouldn't be here. My files. I don't know what's left. Did you get some sleep? Good. What files? Maybe I can help. For the insurance claim. Bills, invoices, cost reports. On the desk? Where were you? 
Getting my files. Or the insurance. But if you want to go in there again, you let me know, okay? Okay. I woke up. You were gone. I didn't know where you were. What are you doing? Oh, it can wait. I'll make you breakfast. We need the money. I'll borrow it against the insurance. We have to file the claim. Well, then I'll help you. <laughs> you won't know what you're looking for. Make me breakfast. That's what I need. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> it's tricky with IVF. You should get as much rest as you can. Okay. Hi. Uh, uh, we'd prefer if you don't tell anyone yet. Um, not until we know for sure. We do know for sure. Rosemary is pregnant. Well, these things are pretty fragile, aren't they? I mean, I, 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 I don't want the added stress. <laughs> Come see me every week. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Morning. Oh, I didn't want to try in case I got it wrong. Where were you? Elsie's. Uh, Rosemary's at Elsie's. I was at the treatment center. Huh? Already? Hmm. Ellen was there poking around. She took some files. I don't know, it seemed kind of funny. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, I guess. Rosemary's pregnant. We did the in vitro thing in Vancouver. And now she's pregnant. Congratulations. The uh, failure rate is 80%. 85. So if you don't mind, I, uh, I, I don't want anybody to know. Not yet. She's after your boyfriend. I heard her talking with Sarah. Mm, talking's okay. Be nice for her if she met a man. All her guys are losers. But it's gonna be different this time. Everything's gonna be different. She's not drinking anymore. She's starting a whole new life. You don't know her. Hey. It's not gonna be easy, Charlie, but you gotta give her a chance. You can't run away every time something bad happens. She loves you. You're the most important thing in the world to her, and you know it.
did he do? Nothing. Shot your boyfriend. Charlie. What's he talking about? He's just kidding, Susie. Everything's fine. I was just taking a nap. So you want some coffee? Sure. going to do? Do you have a job? Uh, my cousin works at a restaurant. She said she could get me in there. A waitress? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Or uh, maybe I'll go back to school. That's a good idea. Yeah, they uh, got all these courses. Uh, wood processing, cooking. Oh, shit. I'll just have a glass of water. Sorry about Hannah. Sarah told me. What time is your plane? I could drive you to the airstrip. I won't be needing it. Gonna stick around here for a couple of days. Oh, why? It's nice here. Everyone's friendly. She wants your boyfriend. Told ya. Charlie! I don't want to stay here. A couple of days. What's wrong with that? Check out the babe from Mom and Harris, Fort Lauderdale. You ever been there? How's Bertha? Great. What are you doing? The insurance claim. I didn't ask you to do that. She was sound asleep. You said you wanted it done. Those files are confidential. But these aren't client files. It's all financial stuff. This is my job. I don't need anyone doing it for me. It's all done. You just need a police report. About last night. It's okay. I wasn't thinking about you. Andrew, stop, please. You don't need to do that. Susie's staying in town for a few days. It's probably a good idea. It'll give her and Charlie some time. To do what? Well, you don't walk out of a treatment center and know exactly what to do. Especially when you've been in treatment your whole life. Great support system, too. This whole town is like a clinic. Hell, she may never leave. so mad at me. What are you doing, getting yourself dragged home by a cop? We're just talking. You know what they're all thinking, don't you? Who cares what they think? If we keep screwing up in front of all these people, they won't let you come home with me. I just don't want you chasing her boyfriend. I wasn't chasing him. What now? It's burnt. That's all you're getting. I'm not eating it. There. Is that better? Clean it up. No! I no, Mom! Clean it up. Stop! Let me go! Stop it! Let me go! Mom! Susie! Go wash your face.
Was he hurt? No, just a face full of ketchup. When I was a nurse, I'd report this kind of thing to you. If you want, I could report it to Brian. No. This will help with the morning sickness. Anything else? Don't scratch your belly when it starts to grow. Why? Stretch marks. And you shouldn't see any trapped animals. I don't get out much on the trap line. Sometimes the trappers can't get the animals out of the traps, and they bring them back to town. Ready? Yeah. Lois sends her congratulations. She won't say anything. Thanks. You're going to have a baby. It's a good thing. Now you can go. Hard work, man. It's good for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Susie Muskrat. How you doing? Hey, Susie, how you doing? I need to talk. You better, I'll be back in a flash. What happened? He wouldn't eat a sandwich because it was burnt. He said I was chasing after you. I nearly heard him. But you didn't. But I nearly did. He knows what buttons to push. I never beat on him, even when I was drunk. He's just trying to look out for you, that's all. You're scared, right? So is he. Stay sober, put some time in it together, and it'll pass. You think? Five nights. You're positive. Yes. What if it's day six? I mean, you've got an invoice with my signature on it that says, fine. You can sue me. I'd uh, love to get that in writing. <sighs> fine. Good. This is why we buy insurance. Of course, I'll have to check for damage. Hey, hey, hey! Come on! You're hurting me! Talking, that's all. About what? About what? <sighs> Come on, let's go. I'll pay for it. It's okay. We got insurance. Kids say stuff like that when they're angry. I know. What am I gonna do? Well, what do you want to do? I want to go home with Charlie. What am I gonna tell him? What am I gonna tell him? <laughs> it's okay. Okay. <laughs> 
You're finished. All it needs is your signature. Wait a minute. There's a mistake. It says there were 12 clients. So? So that's not right. I helped count the clients after the fire, and there were 10. Hmm. Jerry, I met. I'm trying to pad the bill. Just sign it, Peter. What? Sign it. What's going on here? Remember Sharon Blackwater and Ronald Southern? Two clients who left here three months ago? And they stayed on paper so you could collect the money. We were going under. I had to. Not like this. Never like this. This is fraud. Sign the claim, Peter. I can't. I'm asking you, please. If you don't, I'll lose my job. And they'll shut the place down. Hey, what's up? For the baby. That's who said I should give him to you. Thanks. They used to be mine. So Elsie thinks it's gonna be a boy. Maybe. You wanna come in for a soda? No, I gotta get going. Bertha's cooking supper, you know. TV. When Kyla was born, were you, uh... Why is that why? Okay with it? Man, I was scared shitless. Wouldn't mind another one, though. Gets expensive, doesn't it? I suppose. You know, diapers cost a mint, formula, clothes, and cry all night. You know, puke on you, drool on you. Don't worry, man. It's the best kind of hell there is. You're gonna love it. You're gonna leave me. I knew it. Look at me. I love you. And you know it, don't you? But I got some things I gotta learn first. Like how to take care of you. But this isn't your fault. It's no one's fault. I just need a little more time. <laughs> but I'm gonna learn. And I'm gonna come back and get you. You understand? I promise. When? Soon.
be good, eh? I want to stay with Michelle. I don't think so, Charlie. It's okay. You sure? Some supper. 